to tell you about the craziest thing that happened yesterday and I'm still shocked that it happened. Also like a little sad and devastated about it. I was out doing a photo shoot with my jackets yesterday and then these two girls walk up to us and they're like, hey, we just saw this like older lady bike away with your jacket on. And I was like, what? They're like, yeah, like she just stole a jacket and like cycled away. People suck sometimes. That's my conclusion. So it's been a whole week since the jacket incident and I figured I should probably even tell you what this is even all about. And basically, I have a fashion brand named after myself, Eleanor. <laughs> all about slow fashion, upcycling thrifted fabrics that I find, and making garments. As of right now, I have jackets and flower bags, which I'll show you in a second. I don't outsource anything. I make it all myself. I cut the fabric. I sew the fabric. Uh, it's just a one-man show. It's all me. I actually found like a rain poncho. That's the perfect garment bag. So I only have three sizes, small, medium, large, because personally I love an oversized jacket and it fits like a bigger range of people. Um, eventually I will like expand the size range, but just start small, medium, large. So these are the small jackets that I have. I had three of each, but of course the third one was the one that got stolen. So now we have two. <laughs> Old curtains, actually, both of these. These are the medium ones. This was one of my favorites, like an Ikea, Ikea curtains apparently. It's all different like faces. So I called it moods which my boyfriend helps with that one. I did not come up with it myself. I was gonna call it faces and he's like, why don't you call it moods? Sounds better. This is my, my personal favorite. Another floral one and then a striped one. I tried to have a floral for each size because it's kind of a classic. Also, this one is fun. I like the silver buttons. And then these are the larges. I had actually enough fabric to do two of these jackets. So I have a small and a large. It's just like this really cool wood grain. Also just simple black and white for someone who's maybe not as into colors. If you guessed it, I'm super into colors. Love colors and patterns. A classic houndstooth and then again, like a floral. And I actually love this floral. I think it's so pretty. Oh yeah, also, I'll show you closer. A fun fact for the jackets is, yeah, they're patch pockets. Like you can put your hands in the pockets, but it's kind of weird to like stand with hands in your pockets like this. So I made them double pockets so you can actually put your hands in on the side. And like these are two completely separate pockets. So I think that's fun. A fun little secret detail. The other product I have is the flower bags and some of them match the coats like the wood grain and the pink faces and stuff. And then there's some independent prints like the stripes and flowers. Basically, what is a flower bag, you may ask? <laughs> it's just something to carry your bouquets in. Like a very simple bag, you just shove your bouquet in, you can tie it shut so it doesn't fall out, and you simply can just have it over your shoulder. Like markets are a huge thing here. So you become bag ladies. And when you have too many bags, it's hard to also carry a bouquet of flowers. So this is where your flower bag comes in handy. And I also made it long enough so you can like crossbody it so it goes like this of course it's cuter when there's flowers in it <laughs> which i'll show you a photo of what it really looks like i want to add a fun little accessory just so people could be a part of the brand at a lower price point because of course the jackets are a lot more so this is an easier way to like enter into the brand but also you know how hard it is to cycle with the bouquet of flowers it's kind of annoying so this makes life a lot easier anything I think the people will like this. <laughs> Even the lady at the market was like, what, like, where did you get that? So that was really cute. I think these will do well. They're a fun little thing. They match some jackets or like a classic little floral print is cute. But yeah, I, I love them. I think they're fun. Okay, been a couple days and I officially launched the brand. So excited. It is Friday and I launched Wednesday, Wednesday night. I forgot to film it to be honest, but it's just, you just click a button and it's live. Um, but I had a couple orders come in, honestly, just family and friends, but of course love the support. And now I'm gonna pack them, my first orders. I'm actually really excited about this.
this package. I packaged my first one. This is the faces jacket, and this is what the outside's gonna look like. If I were to ship it, I would put the shipping label over here, but it is a Massimo box, an old box, because I think it's funny to use fast fashion boxes for slow fashion garments. And also most people only use these boxes like once and then throw them out. So I take them and use them again because it literally says on the box to reuse. So that's what I'm doing. But of course I add my own logo sticker and then I use this just so you're like, I'm not what you think I am. I'm just being reused. So you know, it's not a Massimo item, but an Eleanor item. about it two of them are just for friends not just two of them are for my friends uh, but I'm going to hand deliver them so I don't need to ship them and then one is for my mom and my sister so there's actually two orders in here and I'm gonna ship this one to Canada so that brings us to the end of the video I hope you enjoyed it it's just a little bit of an introduction to what I'm doing the brand itself what I want to share and my very first launch in the Netherlands, which is wild. Like I dreamt of living in Europe for so long and I lived here a couple years ago and then I came back, but to like have a brand in the Netherlands is wild. I kind of love it, it's crazy. I hope you enjoy and I'll see you next week. Mm -hmm.